Espresso coffee tastes mighty good. That's not the reason why I gotta get back up to that sugar shack. Hey everyone, it's Jim Tedesco from Millennium County Railroad version 2.0. That's right, 2.0. Now, let's just hope there's never a 3.0 because I don't want to go there. <laughs> anyway, today I got to show you what I do with the railroad crossings. I actually have one installed. Yay! <laughs> and I'll show you the uh, how it works and some of the electronics involved. Nothing too complicated. If you have any questions, as always, don't hesitate to ask. If I can answer them, I will. If not, well, <laughs> you know. I'm not exactly a genius, you know, so hey. Anyway, I did get it working, so without any further ado, let's get to the uh, to the railroad crossings. Stand by. Alright, here we are on the layout. Now, I don't have any power to this track yet, so I couldn't run an engine on this, so I have to do this by, by hand. But I installed the, uh, the working lights, they're over here. And I've got one sensor here, so as we go by, it kicks the sensor on, you see the lights on. And the other sensor is over there. Right over there you can see it partially. There. Now these are going to be hidden by structures at some point. I've got to figure out what to make for them. Something I could print probably. Uh, and as it goes by there, and they will actually, I've got a program to stay on for 20 seconds after the train passes the sensor. And then it'll automatically go off by itself. There you go. Coming back, same thing. Sensor's triggered, the light's on. Goes through the crossing. We pass the other sensor. And 20 seconds later, the light goes off again. I could have made it shorter, but I thought, you know, in reality, uh, judging by the real crossing down the street, it seems like it's about 20 seconds after the train goes by that it kicks off and the, the arms raise. Now, I don't have raised arms here. That's a whole other deal. I couldn't find anything. Um, they're on, like, permanent back order. So, and I've only got the light on this one side here. And the reason I did that, because you can't see the other side anyway, so I put one of the old crossing gate things up. It's just dead. Nothing, nothing works on it. But you wouldn't see it anyway, so it doesn't matter. And I'm probably going to wind up doing that through the rest of the, the uh, layout. I'm not sure yet. I got plenty of these uh, cross bucks. I bought eight of them. So, I got plenty of them. <laughs> now, we get to the nuts and bolts of it. I'm going to slide this down here just a little bit. And I'm going to wind this down. Now, what I did was, I built the drawer. Like I said, I really can't get underneath this thing that well. And the drawer slides out, and there's all your goodies. So you got the UNO board here. This is a flashing unit that actually came with it, so I went ahead and utilized it. Even though I have my own flashing board, but just as well. And then I've got a breadboard there that connects it all together. And then, of course, the sensors are wired, so it's all set. So I don't have to worry about it. If I have to work on it for whatever reason, I'll have to take the face off, of course. But once the face is peeled back, I can slide the drawer out and work on it. And I'm going to do the same thing wherever I put these. Um, I'm not quite sure where I'm going to put the other one. Well, I'll, I'll take the camera off here. Hold on just a second. Okay, I'm going to want to put a flashing cr a crossing flasher here. And I've definitely got to put one over here. So that's two separate boards because they're too far away to run the wiring. That would be a disaster. Well, I don't know. Maybe not. I may run both on, on a single board. I'm not sure yet. Now these two over here 
you got one right here and then just a little ways over is there. These two are going to be run on the same board because they're so close together. Yeah, that should be a piece of cake, no problem there. And then finally, I have another crossing here. And probably just going to do the one on the outside that's actually operational. The other one you're not going to see it, so why bother? And that's it. So, that's the plan. I've got one more Uno board. I've got three more that I ordered. So, and they're very cheap. So, you can't go wrong with that. Now, hang on a minute. I'm going to reposition the camera one more time. Alright. <laughs> I put it back on the tripod. Hey, you know, I'm going to sign off anyway, so why not? Uh, so, anyway, that's what I did. Um, I want to start working on my car soon, but I'm waiting on parts. Come on. Okay. Come on, you can do it. There you go. This bubble, he's got to get in the picture. <laughs> he's a crazy dog. So, uh, while I'm waiting for parts for my car, I figured I'd come in here and get some more done. So I worked on the drawer a couple days ago, and then I started wiring up the extra sensors. Uh, I can't really do anything more anyway because I'm waiting on more sensors. I'm not sure what I'll get those. And of course I've got, like I said, I've got one more Uno board but I need more. There are three more on order so... Because I'll be doing other things with these too after I figure out what else I want to do with them. There's so many, potent, so many possibilities I'm not even sure where to begin. If anybody has a cool idea you think I should do with an Uno board, let me know. <laughs> I'll take anything up for, uh, for a suggestion. And if I can do it, I will. If not, well, you know. Uh, <laughs> you gotta love it. Anyway, uh, so I probably won't be doing anything more in here for a little while, because like I said, I'm waiting on parts for the car. It should start coming in over the, uh, after the weekend. And there's not really too much more I could do here. I mean, I could drop feeders. I haven't put it off forever. Uh, it's just one of those jobs, you know, you just don't really want to do what it has to be done. So, because like I said, the whole Sugar Line rail is dead. So I've got to drop feeders for that. And I've got to drop feeders here and there for everything else. And then the second level, that's really, I've like got one, one track running on that, and that's it. That's, that's powered, so I've got to put feeders on everything else. That's a lot of work. So, I'll get to it eventually, but, you know, yeah, I'm not in a big hurry. <laughs> so, until next time, like Pogo says, keep it on the rails. If he can talk, that's what he'd say. And we'll see you again real soon. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.